What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So a lot of people want me to talk about CK1. What is it? Um, am I interested in it? Is it something that's going to benefit SHIB in the long run? Uh, did you really uh, guess that this was going to be the case? Um, what they did come out with, we will go through what it is and talk about how it will benefit SHIB in the future, how I believe it'll benefit SHIB in the future. Understand that all of this of what I'm saying is speculation because I'm not behind the development team and I'm not behind what uh, Shitoshi, Shitoshi um, ends up you know, deciding to do or whatever, whoever decides to do something, right? I'm not behind that decision. I'm just merely creating questions that hopefully will get answers. And some people may take it as, you know, FUD in some way. You could take it however you want. If the questions are being asked and um, the questions are being answered, I mean, you can take it however you want. I really don't care. I just want to make sure we get the answers of what is planning, what they're planning to do with Shiba Inu and the ecosystem in general. You know they can't do anything with SHIB itself, but they can do something with the ecosystem. And legally, if they create businesses, they can do something pretty interesting with the, the SHIB brand, right? So anyways... Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of those links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys want to join the Shiba Inu Discord group, you can definitely do that. Um, this you know, was created for the community to where we're looking to support SHIB in a big way, not just support the entire ecosystem. We're looking to support things that support Shiba Inu in the largest way possible. So make sure you guys uh, check out those links down below. But let's go ahead and get into this, because uh, if you didn't know, there was an article or a blog post written by uh, Shitoshi, right? And basically, it goes through um, all the detail um, of, you know, Shib, Shibshire Blastaway and uh, CK1 and all of this other detail here. So I went into the article to, to get an understanding of what it is or what, you know, what they wanted to say here. Mainly was a lot of the stuff that we already have heard, you know, talking about Wellies, talking about John Richmond, talking about, um, you know, Shib, talking about the metaverse, all of that different type of stuff and, and all the things that we have heard but put it all together into one blog post. But then the interesting part that we wanted to know about, or at least in this video you wanted to know about, was uh, CK1. What is CK1? So I'm gonna take you through this, and I'm just gonna let you listen to this last piece um, to get an understanding of what it is, right? A lot of people had guesses that it would be like Calvin Klein or something else, and it ended up being um, something completely different, right? So let's go ahead and uh, look at this. Creative ways. That being said, we're now at a place where it is mission critical, mission critical to find a lawyer that specializes in contract law. In this way, we can ensure another layer of protection and ensure any partnerships directly benefit SHIB and all entities involved. It is here, at the precipice of the completion of Ryoshi's vision and revelation of my own, that we are proud to announce the retention of our first legal counsel, Craig Kessler Esquire. CK1 Craig is a perfect fit for our current slate as he specializes in contracts, specifically entertainment contracts, and will help us finalize the contracts with our upcoming SHIB.io Metaverse Studio, Metaverse Advisory Team, and other contracts, including NDAs, entertainment deals, and new partnerships. He's been a legal consultant for Amazon Studio slash Prime Video and Hulu, so we believe we are in good hands. So I, I wanted to bring that to you because there are some things that we want to take from that, right? When we look at the fact that they're bringing on, um, you know, a person that specializes in uh, business law, right? Understanding the, um, or contract law, understanding the business side of things and how you can take one business and grow it to something really big by bringing on different partnerships and bringing on the right people to, um, understand the the verbiage understand the the words that come across between both entities between so many different pieces here right um one thing that comes to mind when i think of something like this when you actually have uh, a lawyer when you actually have someone um that is going to look out for the security of what your business holds or what your ecosystem holds right you're you're looking to obviously be able to uh, negotiate and you know have the right people there for those contracts so whether you're looking at creating a metaverse you want to have the right people to create that metaverse whether you're looking at you know bringing on new businesses like another wellies or like something else like calvin klein if they wanted to which is not the case um then you could do that and you have the people in place to do that but what it also does right when you start to think about it is starting to 
um, kind of attach the name of SHIB to your ecosystem or your business that you are creating, right? Technically, all of the things outside of SHIB and the coins that are created are businesses, right? You're looking at Wellies that is a business and you have a certain ownership. You have, um, you know, John Richmond as well. You have games that you're creating, which is essentially another business when you do have any type of revenue that goes through it, right? So all of these things that are looking at, you're looking at for businesses, you can create something with that SHIB brand to make sure that nobody else can attach themselves to the SHIB brand. That's what I'm a little concerned about now. I'm not saying that that's 100% true, but I have seen this done before to where uh, you attach yourself to some sort of name that isn't a well-known or it is a well-known brand, but it's not something that's actually taken by somebody, right? Until someone comes along and obviously establishes ownership in a way. And understand that SHIB has no ownership, right? It's completely decentralized. And they mentioned through this article talking about how, you know, the ecosystem is decentralized. The ecosystem is not decentralized. SHIB is decentralized, right? There are owners of the ecosystem. There are people that are deciding to do stuff and be a part of these contracts that are for the new coins, for all of the business that are being established. Don't try and confuse people with saying that the ecosystem is decentralized. When we know, we know that this is centralized. Sorry about that. I got a person that subscribed. I appreciate that for you guys subscribing. Anybody that subscribes, Ronnie, thank you so much. But um, when we look at this, um, the ecosystem is not decentralized. It is centralized. People control what's going on in a lot of different aspects of the ecosystem. When it comes to SHIB, it's by itself. It cannot be touched. It You can end up doing something with the name itself if you build a business that's associated with that. So that's where it starts to kind of, you start to like, I don't know, muddy the waters a little bit. But this CK1, one, um, it's... Uh, a horrible way to advertise this because they come out with all of this stuff. It's sort of like what they did with Wellies. Wellies wasn't that exciting. And what they're building now with Wellies, it's starting to get more exciting because you have all of those different pieces to it. And I'm not saying what they're doing is malicious at all. I'm not saying that they plan on uh, taking this away from you. I think they want to protect their brand or protect their ecosystem. What they stated in the last AMA that we had was that anyone anyone can build an ecosystem around ship well they can't build an ecosystem around ship if you decide to do something legally about it right so obviously you can build something around the the token uh, ship but you cannot end up building a business around what the brand is because it could be taken or owned by someone else now again this is all speculation i've seen it done before but this is all speculation and just understanding the business side of things it's all about who owns what and how you can profit off of all of these different things so not saying that they have any malicious intent maybe they are looking to help out all investors but also looking to help out their own pockets as well um, if we look at all the different detail of the article, which we can, or the blog post, which we can go into a lot of that stuff, it talks about the fact that there will be futters, there will be people that question it, and they're known as futters. I mean, the fact that we question it means that we care about what's going into this ecosystem. That's it's not futters, right? Those are people that question it. I question it. I want answers. Other people question it. They want answers. People have reached out to me and said, look, I'm not going to um, say that this is good or bad of a blog post until you make a video about it because I want to see both, both sides of things. Again, I like the positivity with all the different pieces to it. You have so many things that are uh, going on in this ecosystem, which could be good and bad depending on how you use them. But... Um, we obviously want to see all the detail to how all these things are going to be utilized with just announcements where you have, you know, CK one, what, what are they looking to really do there? Right. Um, in like, literally what are the first steps as you do, uh, move on with this partnership or, um, you know, this, I don't, I don't even know what to call it partnership. Let's just call it that. Um, same thing with wellies. What do you plan on doing? It's glad that we have information from wellies themselves on what they're doing. Right. Um, and you know, all of the different things, we want to know exactly what's going to happen with all these pieces. So, uh, CK one, is it good? It is good. You want to have clarity on exactly, 
um, what you're going to do with all of these businesses or how you're going to get through the contract negotiations and setting up and making sure everything's, um, you know, in the right when it comes to the contract side of things. That's great. That's absolutely fantastic. But we also want to know when it comes to the brand of SHIB, is it going to be frowned upon now to use the name of SHIB within anything? Because I know that you guys have a problem with that. Um, we've seen that in the past with plenty of different uh, pieces that you guys just don't, um, you know, consider yourself a part of that community, even though the community itself is a part of SHIB, but the ecosystem is not a part of that piece. So basically you have a triangle here where you have the ecosystem, you have um, you have all of the businesses and you have SHIB, right? SHIB connects to the businesses or um, the ecosystem. You have all the different uh, pieces down here that are the different burn methods and all that stuff, but they attach to SHIB and they attach there but we don't have these two attaching here. So it's a triangle, I guess, but without that connection right there. We don't have those two connect to the ecosystem, right? So I don't know, I don't know. It's definitely something we, we can think about and we can say um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. We wanna look at it um, closely as time goes on, but it's a horrible way to advertise it, I'll tell you that. Um, with all the things that people truly care about, like on the business side of things, I've never heard of anybody advertising a lawyer in in my history of, <laughs> I, I understand there are lawyers out there, you know, Demand Rand, 7777777, whatever his number is, right? But I've never in my history heard of someone basically coming out and saying, we have a business model here, we just hired a lawyer and have a hype post about a lawyer. So that's why a lot of people were like, hey, this is gonna be a partnership with Calvin Klein. It makes sense, right? It's a business. This would be great to be able to have that. But that's not the case. Um, it's a lawyer. So again, good and bad. I'm going to leave it at that. I know you're probably going to take this as negative news or FUD. You can take it however you want. Um, but uh, <laughs> the way that I look at it, it's not the biggest news in the world. It's something that could be bad, but also could be good. And I think it will have a mixture of both. So uh, hit that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Let me know what you think about um, this in general. I've heard a couple opinions, but I want to see what people say at the, at the bottom of this video to understand where my opinion is. But anyways, hit that like button, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.